I got back from Qatar, which incidentally was where Sir David Amos was last week as well. We've, we've been looking at what's happening to Afghan refugees um, who've been flying through Doha and then onto other countries um, following the collapse of Kabul. Um, <clears throat> I got back on Saturday morning to um, a death threat in an email. Um, I passed it on to the police and, uh, well, um, you've just said that um, somebody's been arrested. I, I understand you can't go into the details and that, you know, it's just a, a developing case now, but... Can I ask you more generally about your safety? How regular an occurrence is that? Um, and do you feel safe as an MP? Uh, yes, I, I do feel safe. I, um, weirdly, we've turned Parliament into a bit of a fortress now. But of course, the place where we're, and I've been saying this for more than 10 years now, the place where we are most vulnerable is in our constituencies. Because um, it's one of the special things about being a British MP that you know, I get on the bus, I, I get on the train to go to the rugby match, I'm in the pub um, uh, around the corner from where I live and, uh, and uh, you know, I, I go to Morrison's and people stop me at the fish counter. Um, so I think that's one of the great things that you can, most British MPs are very, very accessible. And unfortunately, over the last few years, we've seen this terrible ratcheting up of, um, you know, nastiness, lang uh, horrific language, repeated death threats, in the last two years, I've had um, several people making threats to me. Quite Sometimes I thought they're on the borderline of whether I should report them to the police or not. And on the whole, I think MPs, we probably report less than we should, simply because we, we're, we're painfully aware of how overstretched the police are anyway. And we, and we, you know, we don't want to be such, um, I don't know, shrinking violets that, um, you know, we run to the police for every single little thing. But in the last year... Um, anti-vaxxers, uh, a mob of anti-vaxxers came and attacked my office. And the year before, it was um, Brexit uh, supporters who um, painted the word traitor all over the office doors. Um, you know, we've had to have things installed in the office and at my home. Uh, and every single MP that I, I know has had all of this.